Hello guys, I am Kana Kenya watching Ready Steady Eat. Today I am going to show you how to make Shazwan chili potatoes. It is an amazing Indo-Chinese dish and most importantly it is vegetarian so all my vegetarian viewers can have it. In this it is a perfect combination of every bite of potato with perfect crunch, tang and chili. This appetizer is my husband's favorite appetizer so let's see how to make this. 3 to 4 parboiled potatoes with salt, 1 tablespoon of oil, 1 tablespoon of garlic sliced finely 2 to 3 whole dry red chilies broken into halves 1 tablespoon of red chilli paste 1 big onion thinly sliced 1 bell pepper thinly sliced Salt to taste 1 4 teaspoon of black pepper powder Half a teaspoon of red chilli flakes 2 to 3 teaspoons of soya sauce 1 tablespoon of tomato sauce 1 tablespoon of corn flour Some water 1 teaspoon of vinegar Chopped spring onions to garnish First cut the potatoes this way into wedges, remove the skin and parboil it. Parboil means partially cooking the stuff into hot boiling water with some salt. So cut the wedges and put into hot boiling water with some salt for 4 to 5 minutes until it is cooked through this way. First heat oil in a wok. Once it is hot, now add finely sliced garlic cloves and saute it until it becomes light brown. Once you see the garlic has started changing its colour, now is the time to add whole red chillies to it. Fry it until all the chillies are properly fried in the oil. Before it starts burning, now immediately put onions to it. And continue sautéing it for a minute or so until all the onions become little translucent. Just enjoy the aroma of rustic flavour of the garlic and chillies you get at this point of time in your house. Now once you see that the onions have become little translucent and has changed its colour this way, now is the time to add bell pepper to it and again sauté it for a minute. Continue doing this until you feel that the bell pepper has cooked little because we don't want to overcook the bell pepper as this is a Chinese dish. Now at this point you need to add salt, black pepper and red chilli flakes and continue stirring it. Now is the time to add the parboiled potatoes. Here I am using the parboiled potatoes as nowadays everyone has become little health and calorie conscious. But if you want you can make the same recipe with the help of deep fried potatoes to enhance its flavour and taste. Now keep stirring it slowly so that the potatoes doesn't break. Now add red chilli paste to it. For this I have soaked few whole red chillies in some water and then blended in a mixer. If you want you can also use chilli sauce for this and mix well. Now is the time to put tomato sauce. Here I am using 1 tablespoon of tomato sauce. If you like more tangy, you can use more. And if you like little sweet, you can also add sugar to it. Now add soya sauce and keep mixing it slowly until all the things come together. Now this is a perfect Chinese colour we want. Now once all the potatoes are properly coated with all the things, now is the time to pour some water. You can also use some vegetable stock or any kind of stock if you have. Just put little. Now add some water to the corn flour and mix well so that no lumps are formed. Now mix it with the potato preparation and let it boil so that you get the perfect consistency you want. Now give it a little toss. Now this is a perfect Chinese sauce consistency. Now is the time to put some vinegar. If you want you can also add some lime juice to it. Add spring onions to it. Now toss it for the one and last time and close the flame because we don't want to overcook the stuff. Now my yummy mouth watering tangy and spicy Shezwan chilli potatoes are ready to serve hot. Hope you like my hot spicy and tangy Shezwan chilli potatoes recipe and hope my husband also likes it and also give me your valuable feedbacks in the comment section below. Also hit the like button and do subscribe to Ready Steady Eat for more such spicy recipes. It's me Kanak signing off. Bye-bye.